Hi there, Dave here. Today I'm going to talk about how to discover your computer's memory limit. Now, the maximum amount of memory you can install and use in your computer is limited by two things. The first is the motherboard and the second is the version of Windows that you have installed on your computer. So let's start with the version of Windows that you have. If you don't know which version of Windows your computer has installed, click on the folder icon on the taskbar, right click the computer icon and select properties. And your version of Windows will be shown at the top. Also note if you're using a 32 or a 64 bit version of Windows. If instead you're using Windows 8, click on the folder icon on the taskbar, right click this PC icon and select properties. Here you can see your version of Windows and here you can see if you have a 32-bit or a 64-bit version of Windows. Once you know which version of Windows you're using, take a look at this. This chart shows you the maximum amount of memory that your version of Windows can use. So for example, if you're using Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit, the maximum amount of memory that can be used by Windows is 16 gigabytes. If you install more than 16 gigabytes of memory into a computer that uses this version of Windows, then 16 gigabytes of that memory will be used by Windows and any amount of memory above that will be ignored and unused. The next thing you need is your motherboard manual. If you don't have a manual, the first thing to do is download a program called CPUZ from this website. Once you've installed CPUZ, start the program, then click on the main board tab. Your motherboards make and model will be shown at the top here. Next, Google your motherboards make and model, followed by the word manual to find your motherboard manual online. Your motherboard manual will tell you how much memory each memory slot can accept. So here it's telling us that this particular motherboard can accept up to eight gigabytes of memory per slot. And if we scroll up here, it's showing us that this particular motherboard has four memory slots often referred to as DIMM slots or memory banks. So here we can see that this particular motherboard can have up to four memory sticks installed and each memory stick can be up to eight gigabytes. So this particular motherboard can accept up to 32 gigabytes of memory. So you have your Windows version memory limit and your motherboard's memory limit. Whichever is the lowest is your maximum amount of memory that you can install and use in your computer. So let's say we have a motherboard that has a limit of 32 gigabytes of memory that can be installed and let's say we're using Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit version which has a limit of 16 gigabytes. In that case 16 gigabytes would be the maximum amount of memory that you can install and use in your computer. So that's one way of finding out your computer's memory limit. Another way is to use a memory scanner, such as Crucial's memory scanner. So let's click on memory. This scanner can scan your computer and will then tell you your computer's memory limit. It will also show you recommendations on what to buy for your computer. Or instead of using the scanner, you could put your computer's make and model in, as shown here. As you can see, this particular computer has a limit of 4GB of memory and it has 4 memory slots. 
and here's some recommendations on what to buy for the computer we just searched for. By the way, there are other memory scanners out there that you can use instead of this one. This is just one I've picked out to show you as an example. So that's three ways on how to discover your computer's memory limit. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.